Are you ready to create a life you crave? Let's spin that doom loop of negativity into an upward success cycle and start living lucky. Good morning. I'm Jana. I'm Jason. I am in rare form this morning. And I'm here too. I'm going to drink some coffee. coffee. I'm going to drink some coffee. I'm going to drink some coffee and say good morning to you. To you. We've been singing these silly little songs, so I hope you'll join us this morning. We're in hypnotic rhythm. That is correct. That's what we're talking about this morning. <laughs> hypnotic rhythm. There's a law. Who knew? Who knew? Jason has been listening to this book. It's an interview with the devil. Napoleon <laughs> Hill, <clears throat> Outwitting the Devil. Yes, the book is called Outwitting the Devil. It's by Napoleon Hill. He actually wrote it in the 1930s, but they were scared to publish it because... His wife made him promise not to publish it until he died. Well, he died before his wife, and then his wife didn't publish it, and then her sister or someone didn't publish it, but then the family said, hey, it's time for this to come out. Yes, because they were scared of the devil. <laughs> really? I mean, they were scared of criticism, which in the book, the devil says, that's, that's me speaking. <laughs> I'm doing my work. Criticism is exactly what... What I do, that's my genius. It's very, very interesting. Hey, Sheila. Hey, Marilyn. Thank you for being here this morning. Anyway, it's been fascinating to see this law of hypnotic rhythm. And it's in other language, Jason and I often say that we get conditioned in the world and we start becoming like the people around us. We start learning how to act <clears throat> in the world. Here's an example. <clears throat> Women often bond through complaining. We often bond by how terrible our lives are. And if there's a woman that comes into a group, like say you're with your girlfriends, if somebody comes into the group and says, my husband is so wonderful. He just wrote me a love letter and he is taking me away to Hawaii for the weekend. He makes me breakfast in bed every morning. Every single morning. And if, if a woman comes in and just starts bragging about how wonderful their husband is, the rest of the women are going to be like, okay, just pipe it down sister <laughs> just pipe it down and they're probably going to even turn their backs a little bit like we we just don't even want to hear it <laughs> we bond over misery right if a, if a woman comes in and says oh my gosh i'm just losing so much weight <laughs> I eat brownies all the time and I kid you not. I, I, my pants are just falling, falling off, off of me. I am just getting skinnier and skinnier by the day. She's a slut. <laughs> and I'm telling you, everybody just loves me. I, I kid you not. Everybody just wants to be my friend. And I mean, if, if somebody does that, right, if somebody just talks about how great their life is and how wonderful and easy everything is we kind of go okay enough yeah. am i right <clears throat> yeah Marilyn says misery loves company and that's that's how people meet up at water coolers that's the office talk and oftentimes we find ourselves falling into this rhythm mm -hmm. of complaints and all the negativity, negativity. in the world the news <clears throat> okay every time you turn on the news what leads what leads is what bleeds. They only report the stories that are outliers. They report what's wrong in the world. They report what's wrong. It's it's the fear. It's leading fear. you into the fear. And in the outwitting the devil, what the, the Napoleon Hill is claiming is that the devil is literally just the negative the the negative electron in in all all the uh, all matter so there's a positive and a negative side to all matter and the devil is in the negative and and that's that's where we tend to kind of pull ourselves towards well we we <clears throat> tend to pull ourselves as to 
what our environment is and what the people around us are doing because we want to fit in. We lean into we fear want to, instead of faith. And <clears throat> we want to be a part of the group. Accepted. We want to be accepted. And so we want to do what everybody else is doing. Well, what everyone else is doing is falling into this negative pit. Well, it takes courage to be faithful. So we almost become hypnotized into this negative trance. It's And it can go the other way as well. I don't know if you've ever heard of getting into rapport with people. It's how babies learn. So when you're teaching babies how to speak, how to talk, you, you literally get in their faces and you're like, God, God, goo, goo. You know, like we're teaching them our facial expressions. We're teaching them sounds. We're teaching them how to walk, how to smile, how to talk. How yeah, to... when a baby starts walking, mm -hmm. you don't criticize them for falling or tripping. Yes. You encourage them to get up and do it again. Right. <clears throat> Until they reach a certain age and then you start saying, no, 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 Slow no, down. no, Slow no, down. no, 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 no. Then we start tearing them down a little bit. <laughs> and then we start... They're no running around the pool. That's when the conditioning starts. It's like when they're babies, they're perfect. They're perfect, 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 perfect. And then no, 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 no. We don't act like that. No, that's not acceptable. <laughs> and we start criticizing. And we start kind of molding them into what we think is society wants and what is acceptable and then as as we grow into adults we mold ourselves into what we think the world wants and what we think we're supposed to be supposed. the word is supposed and, and it really we become hypnotized into this I mean, look around, look around, just stop. Into I, the rhythm of life. And then you see that you are in the 98 percentile while the most successful people are in the one and two percentile. They're thinking differently. I like to play this game where I go to the beach or the theme park. I mean, we live in Florida. And if you take random 10 people that walk by you and you say, would I want to change places with them? Would I want to change places with them? Just not even knowing them, just by outwardly appearance, outwardly look, looking in at their lives and just, you know, seeing what kind of, I mean, usually they're yelling at their kids. Yeah. <clears throat> usually they're fighting with their spouses. Usually they're in a rush. Sweating they're hurrying. Profusely. Yeah. Usually they're <laughs> like, oh my gosh, or they're carrying a bunch of bags or they're, you know, they're, I'm like, I, they, that's not the life I want. That's not the life I want. I, I like me. I like the life I Do have. Do you feel calm, like present? They look anxious. They look stressed out. They look like they're in a whirlwind. So I guess what we're trying to say is until we wake up and we become consciously aware of what's around us and what kind of mindset are we in? Are we using the language. I mean, mm -hmm. are we using words like, oh, I have to go to work. I need to finish this project. I should go to the ball game. I mean, those are words that those are clues that we don't really want to do that. We're only doing that because we think society wants us to do that. Are we using, are we going, ugh? I mean, this morning, this is killing. Me. I asked Jason, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take the trash out. Will you put the trash bag in the, the waste paper basket? And he goes, Boo. and I said, no, it's a yay. yay I get to put the trash in the waste get basket. Get excited. <laughs> you know, let's don't bring each other down. Let's lift each other up. I wanted to take the trash out. <laughs> <laughs> We fight over who gets to take out the trash. Take out the papers and the trash. That's a good fight to have. That's a good fight to have. Oh. Anyway, it's just crazy. When we're not aware, we become in this hypnotic Well, you get complacent. Trance. You and do. Then you find yourself waking up every morning doing the exact same thing. It's like Groundhog Day. And then you never get rest. You never get to... So you set your own rhythm... 
It's like singing that Mary, uh, row, row, row your boat. Yeah. And then always finding yourself in someone else's song. Like, like you don't, you never have your own song. You're, you're always singing someone else's song and you wake up every single day singing someone else's song and you never get to have your own rest. I, I'm so confused. Well, right I got now. a little bit off but because it felt like life is but a dream but not jason's dream right so you, you just i remember waking up every day and then i would come home on the weekends and i'll be like i just i'm gonna take this weekend for myself and what i ended up doing yeah is i would stay on the couch all weekend trying to you're exhausted trying to just breathe again trying to catch up and it wasn't catching up because i was i wasn't living i wasn't doing anything with my life and I would, I knew Sunday night when 60 minutes hit and I would hear that tick, 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 Oh, tick. I know. And then you feel the I would dread. have the anxiety because You're I was like, like, oh God. I was like, crap, where did the weekend go? Right. And I knew, I just knew in my soul and in my heart, I was like, crap, I'm, I have to do it all over again. Next weekend, I'll do better. And it never happened. And then next weekend you do the same thing. Yes. Because you fall I would, into the same pattern. I would work myself to death all week, hit my number by Wednesday, but then I have to s- stay doing the same thing to make sure that the next week I hit my number again and was prepared. But it was the same hypnotic rhythm of just blah. Okay, so real quick, let's take an action step of how we can spin this around. So the first step is to become consciously aware. What are your patterns? What are your thoughts? What is your language? What is your physiology? Are, do you have your shoulders down? Are you looking down? Are you going, oh, I got to go to work. Are, are you, are you dragging your feet? You know, let's, let's sit up straight. Let's stand up straight. Let's walk a little faster. Let's talk a little faster. Let's use our voice. Let's lift the chin. Let's smile. You know, let's look the part. Let's get dressed. Let's go. Let's go. Come on team. Yeah. And let's find out who's doing things differently and let's invest in ourselves and let's actually get in different rooms and find out what people are doing differently to get out of those rhythms. Let's surround ourselves with people we want to be like. Let's widen our circles. Let's keep each other accountable. And hey, let's call out our friends. Let's say, hey, you know what? You're sliding. You're sliding a little bit. Let's raise our standards a little bit. We are, we are better and we're meant for better. And I think we're all falling in a hypnotic trance. <laughs> yeah. Let's just set our own rhythm. Yes. And let's create this wonderful orchestra of life. And let's start setting some goals. Let's let's start saying, hey, what what is it that we want in life? And then let's what are our desires? And then let's start aligning those decisions with our divine design. And when you align your desires with your decisions and your divine design, you start living lucky. That's right. All right. Have a great day, guys. And Michael says, let's just have fun. That is the secret sauce right there. Fun. Because when you start having fun, there's energy. And define what your fun is. Yes. That's another thing is people, people are like, I don't even remember what fun is. I don't remember what fun is for me. I'm just doing what fun is for the kids. I'm doing what fun is for my husband. What's fun for you? What was fun when you were seven years old? Ask yourself that question. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. If the idea of living lucky appeals to you, visit us at startlivinglucky.com.